In Lab 8, I want to add three more frames to my project, so I want to get in the Storyboard Editor. I double-click Cat Burglar here on the Workspace Toolbar. And now um, I click the Insert and then click New Frame. Do it again. And do it again. We want uh, four frames all together. So on your right click the second frame. Rename it. Start. Right click frame three. Rename that win. And rename right click frame four. Call that lose. So I'm going to take my start frame and put it above my game title. Just drag it up here. So now you should have an order start, game, win, then lose. So now I'm going to go into the frame editor of the start page. So I double click it right here at the thumbnail. So now I'm going to change the background colors. So I double click on the start button here. So now I can see my settings and make sure that this uh, box is checked. So now I'm going to change the background color. I click in red, green, blue box. And I'm going to do something. Now whatever color I'm going to choose, the red has to show up against it. So I'm going to, I don't know, blue. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to also change the background color on the other screen. So I come over here, double click win, uh, click, click red, green, blue, and put in a color on this one, and click my lose screen, put a red, green, blue, and pick another one for this one. I want to add two string objects to my start frame, so I'm going to go to my start frame. Double click it here, open it. So now I'm going to click the insert menu and I'm going to go insert a new object. So I'm going to, on the menu on my left, I'm going to find text, drag down to text, and um, I'm going to click string. Click OK. And I'm going to put a string there, and I'm going to put um, another string, move uh, another string object. So I go insert new object, and then click string again, and click OK, and put it there. It doesn't matter where you put it as long as they're both on the um, there. So now I'm going to go and do the same thing on my other frames. So I'm going to come on down to my win. Double click my my win um, thing and I'm going to go insert, new object, double click string, click it. So I'm going to go to my last one, my lose one. I go insert, new object, string, OK, click. So now I'm going to go back to my start frame. Double click it to go there. And I'm going to uh, click here in my text, and I'm going to call this cat burglar. Click enter. I'm going to add instructions to the other string object. So I'm going to type a message in the second um, text box. I'm going to click it. And I'm going to double click the text and I'm going to write in there, uh, use the arrow keys to move through the maze, collect the keys to get the treasure, but watch out for the blades. I'm just going to click enter. And there it is. You can't see it all, but it's in there, okay? Some of the text might not show up on the frame yet, but we're going to fix that. So we're going to uh, add messages to the win and lose frames as well. So I'm just going to click over here. I'm going to go to my win screen. Double click it. And I'm going to put type here. Good job, you win. 
in the first one. Click the first one, double click, something like that. So you click, click enter. It's now going to add a message to the lose screen. Come up to lose, double click it, click there, click my text here. So sorry you lose. Click enter. So now all I have to do is uh, change the writing. So I click the A. I change the RGB to whatever I want it to be. I'll do yellow. And now I'm going to click a, side, a type here. I'm going to go, I don't know. Castell is all right. Now I'll change the size. I'll change it to 18. I'll go OK. So now I'm going to go up to my windscreen. And I'm going to click, um, double click it to open it. I click on my first string. And I'm going to change the color with the A. Red, green, blue. How about um, red? There we go. And now I can change this, uh, the text here. Go Broadway. We'll go 18. We'll go OK. And in our second string, we want to play again. We'll put that over here. We'll place that text. And then we're going to change that. Click the text. We'll go red, green, blue, and put red. I'm going to change that to. Um, Broadway. And then lastly, we're going to go to our start frame and do the same thing. Click start, string one, go to text, change the color. And we'll change the font. Broadway again. 18, okay. And then we'll come over here to the other string and we'll do that. Click the color. We'll click the size, the font size, Broadway and 18. Now all we have to do is resize our, our words. Come down here, make it bigger. Where I want it to go. Put my directions here. Come over to my next one. The win. Make sure that anybody can see my strings. Make sure it goes wherever I want it to. Or the last one. Now we're in lab 10. And the first thing we want to do is you want to add a start button to the start frame. So I come over here to the start frame, and now I'm going to click on the start button here. Now I'm going to add one to the win and lose frame. I come down here, double click on win, add the start button. I come down to lose, and add the start button here as well. So we're going to go back to the first frame. And open it up. Now I'm going to go view. I'm going to go frame uh, to the event editor. So I'm going to have my new condition here. So I'm going to go click the frame, the mouse, right click the mouse. Okay, so when user clicks, 
Left button, single click, that's okay. So what we want to happen, you want this to go the next frame. You want it to go the win frame. So I'm going to right click here. So you can see that in the workspace toolbar here, the next frame for the start is the game. So now we're going to go and we're going to do the same thing on the other two um, screens, the win and the lose frames. So I'm coming down to the win frame, double click. I'm going to go view, event editor. I'm going to click a new condition for the mouse. Right, con right click the mouse. Uh, mouse. Mouse user clicks on an object. Left button single click, I click OK. So start button. OK. So when he clicks with the left button on the start button, what I want it to do? I want it to go to the next frame. So now I'm going to come over here. So I right click the mouse. User clicks on an object. So I'm going to click the left button, single click, I click OK. And he's going to click on the start key and I click OK. So now he's going to you go to the storyboard because he wants to go to the next object. He right clicks and we put the next frame because the next frame from start is game. So here we want we don't want it to go to the next frame, we want it to restart the application. So I right click here and then I just click restart the application. I'm going to do the same thing on the lose screen because we want it to start. We double click lose. I click view. I go to event editor. I right click this. I click the mouse button. Right click. Then I choose user clicks on an object. Left click, single click. I go OK. What does he click? He clicks the start button. And I click OK. So once again, I right click here on the storyboard editor. And um, I say restart that application. So that's what we want. So now that we got a win frame, I want to send the player there when he wins. So when I want to go back to the game, so I double click my game. And I'm going to go to my event editor. So we're going to have a new condition. We're going to have it with a ruby. When the ruby collides with another object, it's going to be with the cat. You click OK. When that happens, we're going to go here in the storyboard editor and we're going to go next frame is a win frame, so I'll just click next frame. Next, I'm going to let the player lose the game. So I'm going to create a new condition. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click on player. And then I'm going to compare to player's number of lives. So um, when it equals zero, I'm going to click OK. So when number of lives equals zero, what do I want to happen? I'm going right to uh, right click here and jump to frame. I'm going to click the lose frame. Click OK. Click a new condition and we're going to right click the cat object. Collision with another object, and this is going to be with the chest. And I'm going to click OK. And uh, I'm going to click on the right on the cat column. And I'm going to stop. Movement, stop. So now you can't go and get that um, diamond. You run the game, make sure it works the way you want it to. And when you're done, you click the Save button, and you also click File, Build, Application, and you have a Cat Burglar EXE and the other Cat Burglar game, and you're going to turn them into me, and you're done.